Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a drastically sappy couple in love that loves reacting to some Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, Dragon Ball Super. Yeah, so this is episode number 58 that we're checking out today. And if you want all of our reactions to this series, we have a playlist for you. And if you want early ad-free access, get a month ahead or more, depending on which tier you sign up for. You can also see our full watch-along reactions on Patreon. Uh, the link is in the description of this video. Yeah. Okay, ready to do this? Yes. You should check that out, and we're going to check this out. Yeah. She's showing everybody his alligator. I know. Super Dragon Balls are called Wish Orbs, planet-sized celestial objects measuring exactly 37,196 points. I don't think that's the info he really cares about. Yeah. In the center of each pale yellow sphere is a unique arrangement of red star-shaped markings numbering them one through seven. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm a Supreme Kai in training, and I can easily eliminate you if I choose, so I suggest you don't waste my time. <laughs> You must locate them spread across the vast expanse of the sixth and seventh universes and gather them all together. You must recite the phrase, Come forth, divine dragon, and grant my wish, peas and carrots. Peas and carrots. <laughs> Once you say that, the divine dragon will be summoned forth and grant you any single wish that you desire without limitation. Where exactly? So there's no limit on how many times you can do it, like in a year or whatever, or like mm. another one. But even if you can locate them now, they won't help you, for a summoning occurred too recently. Oh. Nearly one year from now. Almost a year? You will tell me precisely where the orbs have gone. I what? <laughs> I want to hear everything you know about the mortal named Goku. The Saiyan Goku? All oh, looking very rough. Yeah. Sensor Sensor beans! beans. <laughs> How can we have lost so badly? All right. <laughs> <laughs> More training. Now ready for the rematch. <laughs> <laughs> Ran into battle without even taking the Senzu beans? Oh, yeah. I guess we did screw that up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I thought he was good like the other Kais, but he's an enemy and a strong one. That's weird. You guys thought he was black. What's more, he's invincible. Ugh. <laughs> invincible? Hmm. Black already figured out a ridiculous new level of Super Saiyan. What? She's calling it Super Saiyan. Uh, Rose. Rose, fool. Oh, that's right. Fiercest level ever reached. He went with Super Saiyan Rose like on purpose. Exactly. Thank you, Bulma. <laughs> Good job, Bulma. Maybe we'll all become invincible too. Wait a sec. What do you mean by that? We just need to bring an all-you-can-eat buffet of Sensu beans. <laughs> oh. God. There's something I have to tell you before I lose the chance. Oh, go. <laughs> the you in my future? Turns out she survived. Seriously? Uh, so then what? What happened to her? Well, she's not here. I know she'll make it. She's proven that much. She's helped me escape to this time twice now. But if Zamasu's invincible, how can you win? Good evening. Makes a good point. You've got Supreme Kai with you, too. Please forgive the intrusion, but do you know if Goku is nearby? Hmm. Hmm. Yo, Supreme Kai, did you need to tell me something? Uh, as it so happens, I received a message from an expert collector of information named Zuno. How's he doing these days? He's doing fine now, I suppose. Someone traveled an incredibly long distance to ask him about the Super Dragon Balls and about Goku. Your old pal, Zamasu. Mm -hmm. Sounds like we have something we need to share with you, too, then. And just what would that be, Saiyan? My goodness, is it empty already? I'm in need of another pot of tea. Get your own frickin' tea. Zamasu! Where in the world did he go? And that's how that Kai died. He didn't get tea anymore. Super Saiyan Rosé. That sounds like a tasty flavor of ice cream. <laughs> How do you get rid of a deity? That's a rather casual request for something so dreadful. And you know this is an emergency. <clears throat> <clears throat> if Zamasu and Black aren't the same being, then why are their energies so much alike? Exactly. Why research an opponent who bested him? Could he want that power for himself? I believe Zamasu seeks a collaborator with the offensive power he's realized he lacks. He would also like to make himself harder to defeat. He'll use the Super Dragon Balls, won't he? Yes, he'll need the great power of those orbs to get what he desires. 
He's going to wish for Goku Black! But then how does he get trained up? I thought he was just going to wish for himself to be invincible. Or maybe he wishes for an already established Goku to be evil. Hmm. Are you sure? <clears throat> well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right, Goku. Well, more or less. Hmm. Oh, yeah! He said more or less. You guys hear that? It's more complicated than that. Black could be a magical copy of Goku. Created with the limitless power of the Super Dragon Balls. It explains things well for the most part. Goku defeated Zamasu in battle when we visited. The Kai must have taken special interest in him then. And then, after Black is created, Zamasu will wait for another year. Can be more than just one wish. Give unto me the power of invincibility! Mm -hmm. Didn't earn it. Now I... At last, I have the means to carry out divine justice. Zamasu and Black will launch their attack on the Earth in Trunks' future. But wait, of course. He has that time ring. If he uses that handy thing, then he wouldn't have to wait a year between wishes. Mm. But Black's the one wearing it, right? How'd he get to use it? Mm. Well, I guess if Zamasu gets it, then he could let Black borrow it, couldn't he? Time rings can only be used by Supreme Kais. Plus, the Zamasu in our time is only a Supreme Kai in training. So, this neat little theory still doesn't explain the ring. We don't know how- Unless they use it a third time. He's either named Supreme Kai between now and then, or he takes the title. You believe Goasu, Supreme Kai of the 10th universe, is in imminent danger? Yep. Zamasu is probably going to kill his master to become the new Supreme Kai, then be able to use it however he wants. Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> Nobody who trumpets justice ever turns out to be righteous. That's it. Well said. I'm going to look Zamasu in the eyes and find out for sure. <laughs> At the moment, I'm more concerned about ensuring Goasu's safety. I must insist you keep this amicable. After all, the present Zamasu has done nothing explicitly wrong. Don't worry, Trunks. We're gonna figure this out. I have no interest in the present Zamasu. He's just a bitter zealot with an overblown ego. Don't fade out on Vegeta's speech. Especially because he was hitting the nail right on the head. Yeah. You can like meet him halfway. <clears throat> yeah, there you go. I did not okay this. I think they were checking back in with Mai. This is straight up with you. Mai! Maki! Haru! But where is Trunks? Don't worry, guys. He's safe. Is it really true Vegeta and Goku were no match for the enemy? There's no hope left. They're just too strong. It's just a matter of time. Guys, not in front of the kids. Sorry, we're just... just scared. They've killed so many of our friends so easily. And I need to step up. There are still other survivors out there doing their best to hold on. We will have faith and wait for Trunks to get back. We will survive. There you go. Huh? What's up? Has something happened to bring you here? Well, first of all, I'm relieved to see you're all right. Is Zamasu here? I'm so sorry to disappoint you, but I'm afraid he's been an absentee since early this morning. Emphasis on the T. Big mess in the future. Huh? <laughs> we'll do the talking, Goku. <laughs> Is there anything about Zamasu that's been bothering you lately, Kai? Bothering me? Talk of divine justice. Divine justice. Don't lie. I have already put those doubts to rest. Sure. We watch the ups and downs of countless worlds and questions arise. He and I maintain a healthy dialogue. He's got your poison tea. Right now, his soul is perfectly clear, but I have helped him understand the perspective necessary for a Supreme Kai. No, you haven't. He's no longer conflicted, but that doesn't mean he reached the right conclusion. Yeah. Zamasu. Join my tea party. Won't you? I have brought your tea, Master. Never been a more ominous tea bringing ever. <laughs> this is true. Yeah. I love the little like look down, eyes yeah. up to camera, like to be really broody and have like the furrowed mm. brow. 
Yeah. What they what we s- theorized is going to happen is not really the, how it all breaks down because they still haven't figured out how what or why Goku Black has the same uh, energy le- or similar energy levels to um, Zamasu. At one point, I was like, I'm like, oh, maybe Zamasu like wishes for uh, the Supreme Kai or whatever to turn into, I don't know, Goku Black or something um, to be a servant as, as Goku. Uh, but like they don't have the same necessarily have the same uh, energy levels. Um, I'm glad that that we checked back in on with my and uh, Yajirobe, um, and it's nice seeing her lead them and like giving them hope um, when there seemingly is none. Yeah, I mean, that scene, she's the only one who has any glimmer of hope. Like, here's a bunch of grown men who are in there saying, like, we're all doomed. And they're terrified enough that they don't have the presence of mind to realize they're saying this in front of little children yeah. who are themselves scared and in a war zone. Seeing her again rise to the occasion, lead everyone, inspire um Mai's freaking awesome. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. She really is. Um, I like how Vegeta won't even bother with Zamasu in, in, this, <laughs> in this timeline. He's like, he's just, he's just a self-righteous little bitch. I'm not going to call me when he's invincible and then maybe I'll, I'll, I'll tag along. Yeah. Although I kind of love a Vegeta beat down on Zamasu in this timeline. I would yeah. really mind that. I mean, it's not like it's going to do any more damage than it's already done. The guy's a zealot. He's, he's crazy. So might as well get his licks in while he can for Vegeta, you know? And then the Supreme Kai. Oh, well, Zamasu hasn't, in this timeline, hasn't done anything yet, so let's uh, not <laughs> jump to any conclusions and be rash and Which, tell people level head. You know, I, I don't fault him as much as I fault the master of Zamasu saying like, oh no, we talked about that, everything's fine now. Is it? Yeah. These people are showing up on your doorstep asking where he's been and he's been gone all day. Like, do you really have a handle on the situation? Because it doesn't seem like it. He thought that when his mind was clear, it was just because uh, he was like, because he understood what the Supreme Kai had said. Zamasu understood what the Supreme Kai had said and was like going to follow him. But it's like, no, just because it's clear does not mean that he is... It means he's not conflicted anymore, but it doesn't mean he's on your side. Yeah, it just means he's more fanatical. Yeah. Like, that's the hubris of Samsung's master is the mm-hmm. fact that, like, he assumes that to be of clear mind means to be in agreement with me and to understand my teachings. Mm-hmm. The two are not the same thing. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, I, I mean, it was a really good episode to kind of, like, put all of these little pieces in place. As far as the how Goku Black and and Zamazu do this thing in the future. My answer in my brain right now, because I have no alternative, is just, well, Zamazu could theoretically use those Dragon Balls an as infinite amount of times, times yeah. as long as he's got that time ring. Like you guys are like, oh, he does these two wishes. Cool. What's to stop him from doing four or five? Like yeah. he could do as many wishes as he wants to achieve his objective until he loses possession of the time ring, which to our knowledge, he doesn't do until he willingly gives it over to Goku Black, which would imply that his mission was achieved. Um, that's why I felt a little stupid when he was, uh, Zamasu was, or um, we said, oh yeah, and then Zamasu is just going to go back in time and again and gather the, the Dragon Balls. I was like, oh, yeah, he can do that. He can do it twice. He doesn't have, just have to be able to do it once. It's not like, you know, you only get one wish in your lifetime or whatever from the Dragon Balls if you find them. Um, and it's like I knew that before, but for some reason it didn't didn't think about. It. I was again trying to like overcomplicate it about how, uh, you know, like well, he, if he wishes for Goku Black, then how is he going to be invincible? It's like we well, can just wish for both, dude. <laughs> so felt a little silly uh, once um, we discovered that uh, or brought that to my attention. Um, I'm also curious why Beerus and Weiss are so involved in in this because. We said talks about, you know, not messing with the future and not messing with timelines. And um, I mean, I guess in Beerus's case, if Zamasu becomes basically invincible, then, you know, he can he's a challenge to, to Beerus and Beerus wouldn't want that. Um, yeah, I still think they just need to go to Zeno and have him like just zap this dude and snap him away. Well, also in. In terms of Weiss, what I also imagine is like, 
Okay, he's in. He's of the belief that you don't mess with time in the universe. Great belief. Applaud it. Zamasu's already fucking shit up. Yeah. So like, you might need to do a little damage to repair everything. Yeah. Um. Also, cool piece of trivia I learned today. Apparently, the time span between Akako's oh, yeah. birth and death is a year. Yep. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. I learned a piece of, of trivia today. So, the more you know from Dragon Ball Super. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad-free access and to see our full watch-alongs for Dragon Ball Super, check out the link to Patreon down below in the description of this video. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Dragon Ball Super episode number 58, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.